Welcome to STEM Club and this very special STEM Club all about fossils. Fossils are an amazing way to learn about what used to live on our planet. A fossil is made from the remains or an imprint of a prehistoric animal or plant that has been preserved and you can find all sorts of different fossils. This includes dinosaur bones, dinosaur footprints and even dinosaur poo. Fossils can be found all over the world and even throughout the United Kingdom. Scientists are still finding new fossils today and we can learn so much about what used to live on our planet from fossils. Here we've got a fossil from Madagascar and you can see all of the bumps and so you can kind of get an understanding of what this animal might have used to look like. This is a fossil from Lyme Regis so you can see the impression of the animal there but it hasn't quite been taken out of the rock as clearly as this one. So you can see when scientists are looking for fossils they don't necessarily just come out like this they actually get a bit hidden in the rock as well. And here is another fossil I found on the beach. And it's actually a shell that has been turned into a fossil. So it's rock, so it's amazing because it's actually a piece of rock, but you can see the shape of the shell has been preserved. So all of the rocks gone into the shell, outside of the shell has maybe dissolved away, leaving behind this amazing impression of a shell. So it might have looked something like this to start with and it's literally turned to rock. There are two types of fossil. One is a trace fossil which shows the remains of a dinosaur or a prehistoric animal or plant that's been there. So a thing like a footprint or where it's left a trace. The other kind of fossil is a body fossil and this is how we can see the bones that have been preserved from dinosaurs. We're going to make a trace fossil as a really simple science experiment for you to try out at home. And this is really easy to do. I've got some plaster of Paris, some water, then I want something to stir it with, so I've got a straw, and then I've also got some petroleum jelly, which I'm going to use to cover whatever it is you want to make a fossil out of. So you could make a fossil out of a shell, or if you've got some dinosaurs handy, you could make a footprint as well. So different things you could use to make your fossil. So the first thing you want to do is add some water to your plaster of Paris. I'm going to make this nice and thick. Right, when you've got a nice thick creamy like consistency, so I've just about got that now. Then what we want to do is just give this a bang to get any air bubbles out. Then the next step I'm going to cover my whatever object you want to fossilise in your petroleum jelly. This just helps it get easier to be pulled out so it doesn't get stuck into your plaster of Paris. When that's all covered, you can then carefully put that into your plaster of Paris. Now, if your plaster of Paris is thick enough, you might be able to pull it out straight away, but you might also want to leave it in there for a bit just to help it set. And that's why I've covered it in the jelly. So I'm just gonna see if I could put a little dinosaur footprint in next to it as well. Actually. Right, so now I'm just going to leave that to set and we'll see if we've made a fossil at the end. If you don't have any plaster of Paris, you can actually make trace fossils using salt dough, which is really easy to make using flour and salt and water. And the instructions for how to do that are on the Twinkle website. Another type of fossil you can get is a body fossil. You might have seen body fossils in museums as dinosaur bones. So as the dinosaur body decomposes away, the bones are left. They have been replaced by minerals in the ground, turning them into rock. So to make one of these, you need to get a sponge. So I've used an old dish sponge, so I was recycling that again. And I have cut it into a bone shape to start us off. So I've got my dinosaur bone. So you can imagine the rest of the dinosaur has decomposed away. Then the dinosaur is in some mud. So I'm going to put my dinosaur bone in some sand. So I'm just going to bury it in the sand here. So that's kind of like the mud maybe the dinosaurs died into. Then what happens over time, because the bone is porous, a bit like our sponge, it means water can wash through it. And all the minerals can replace and fill up the holes that are in the bones. And the bone will slowly again decompose away and you are left 
with a dinosaur bone rock, also known as a fossil. So we are going to make our plaster of Paris mixture. So I'm gonna make it a little bit runnier this time so I can pour it on my bone. So now I'm going to pour my mixture onto the bone. Ah oh, yes, so now it's all being absorbed by the bone. Right, so now we're just gonna leave that to harden and we'll have a look and see if we can excavate our bone. Here are our two fossils we have made. So our trace fossil, because we've put on the petroleum jelly, I'm just gonna really carefully pull out. And we've got a beautiful trace picture here. So we can see the shape of the shell. And I've also got a little dinosaur footprint there. So that's a really nice way of making a trace fossil and showing how that's happened. And then this one is really fun because we put the plaster of Paris on the bone and then because it's in sand, it's just like a proper excavation where we're very, very carefully having to go around to get the bone out because it has fossilized. This is super cool. So I'm just going to sit and work about that now. I can get it out. I'm gonna go around with my brush so I can brush the sand off. And then I'm just left with my very hard, so it's gone very hard now, I can give it a very hard sponge here. So it's literally turned to rock and you can imagine that happening in the ground. And then I could spend a bit longer excavating off all the sand so I end up with my bone, so I can do that too. So these are two brilliant ideas for you to have a go at making fossils at home. Do share what you've been up to in our Twinkle Home Educators Facebook group and we'll see you again soon for more STEM fun.